Hello, class. This is the first lesson of Quality Talk. We will be introducing Quality Talk and how it can help us learn. First, we will introduce some reading strategies. Try to imagine your experience of a road trip. What will you do? Think of some places you'd visit and arrange them into a sequence. And then, what kinds of activities will you do? But before we continue with more explanation, let's take a look at a short video. Listen carefully to three students talking about their trip. Pay attention to the before, during, and after for this road trip. Hi. Nice to meet you. I am Mrs. S and I am going to talk to you about quality talk. Have you ever taken a road trip with your family? Maybe to visit out of state relatives or for a vacation? Let's try to recall our memories about our road trips and think about what we did before the trip to prepare, okay? Gavin? I went to the Grand Canyon last summer with my family. Before our road trip, we thought about where we wanted to go, what we should pack and how we were going to get there. Great job! Just like when we prepare for a road trip, we also need to prepare before reading. We need to figure out the purpose of the reading, what we already know about the topic, and think about what things might be interesting during reading. Now, while you were on your road trip driving on the highway, what were drivers and passengers thinking about or doing? My mother would check the speed limit signs to be sure she wasn't driving too fast. I would look outside the window for interesting sights and take photos along the way. My father would check the map when we got lost. Interesting, Mia. Your family really works well as a team. Like going on a road trip, during reading, we also need to consider if we need to slow down, how the reading connects to what we already know, and look for amazing words and interesting ideas. Remember we could always go back to the reading and reread if it did not make sense. When you were done with your road trip, what did you do, Carlos? After we came back from our trip, I shared what I saw with my cousins, and we all talked about our recent trips. It was really cool talking to him because he also went to the same place as me, but had different things to say about it. Awesome. After reading, you can also talk with your classmates about what you read, the main idea of the reading, and what you learn from the reading. Having a conversation about what you read can really help you learn better too. And that is what we do in Quality Talk. We have discussions about what we have read to improve our learning. And just like what you do before, during and after a road trip, you can do during a discussion about a story by thinking about similar questions before, during and after reading. Okay class, do you remember what the first boy says? What does he do before the road trip? For yourselves, you will also want to make a plan for where you want to go and how you will get there. This is the same thing you do before you read something. You set a plan. And you want to think about the purpose of your reading, what you know about the topic before you start, and what you want to learn from the reading. During your trip or your reading, you will want to monitor your process. On a trip, you need to pay attention to the road and the direction, and you'll want to take photos of beautiful scenes. And in your reading, you also need to monitor your reading process. Do you understand what you are reading and how one idea connects to another? It's just like reading your road map. Will you highlight the important words and write down some important ideas? That's just like taking photos. This is what you should do in your reading. Then, how about after your trip and the reading? You need to be able to tell others what the most interesting part of the trip or the reading was, how you feel about the trip or the reading, and what you learned. After we complete the reading, we will engage in quality talk. Quality talk is a kind of conversation or discussion where the participants interact meaningfully with each other. 
Before the explanation, please take a look at the video in the next slide and compare the two conversations. Which one do you think is more interesting? And which one seems boring? Now let's take a look at two conversations about two road trips and compare them. Where did you go on your trip? Washington, D.C. When did you go? July. Okay. Well, that conversation was not very interesting, was it? The questions that Audrey asked were given one-word answers. Now let's see if they can improve the quality of their talk. What was the best part of your trip to Washington, D.C.? The best part of the trip was visiting the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. It was cool to see the spacesuit Neil Armstrong wore on the moon. The cosmic coaster ride was really fun too. Unfortunately, it made my mom sick. Oh, I have been there too. It really is a cool museum, but I did not ride the cosmic coaster when I was there. What was it like? Wow! Audrey and Jason improved a lot in the quality of their talk, from conversation 1 to conversation 2, right? When Audrey asked better questions, Jason responded with interesting details instead of just one-word answers. We call this kind of discussion quality talk. Later, you will learn about different types of questions and how to have better discussions, or, as we call it, quality talk. Which conversation is more interesting to you, or that has a richer content? The second one, right? Here is the script for the first conversation. Do you notice that all of the responses are simply one word? Or we can say that they just give factual information. What causes the responses to consist of only factual information? It is the questions. Now, let's take a look at the script for the second conversation. Look at the question. What was the best part of your trip? Can you give only factual information? No. From the very first slide, quality talk is the idea that we want to teach. But we haven't yet really explained what quality talk is. Let's put it very simply. Quality talk is a kind of conversation or discussion with good quality. Here is the definition and how we achieve it. What is quality? Quality in conversation means that you have a better understanding of the topic after the conversation or discussion. And this conversation or discussion makes you think of more questions. Next. Let's look at what should we do in quality talk. All of the four points are important. Let's focus first on the asking questions part. We have to learn how to ask right questions first. Try not to have just factual questions in your group discussion. Instead, try to use questions that will result in better understanding and trigger more questions. Here are some rules to follow when you have your group discussion. Let's read them together. We don't need to raise hands. We talk one at a time. We give others time to speak. We listen to each other. We respect others' opinions. We consider or think about others' ideas. We give reasons to explain our ideas. We question, argue about ideas not people. If we disagree, we ask why. So, what are the differences between test questions and authentic questions? Let's compare the two questions over here. If you remember, the response to the first question is only one word. So this type of question is called a test question. You can find the answer in the text. There is only one correct answer, and it requires only a few words. Now, how about authentic questions? This type of response is from your thoughts, not from the text. So there is more than one correct answer. 
And this type of response will usually be supported with evidence. What is evidence? We'll explain that in detail later in other PPT slides. Let's watch the clip on how the words are supported in the conversation and try to identify the authentic questions in the clip. Hi, everybody. It's me, Mrs. S. again. Today we are learning about two different types of questions. They are test questions and authentic questions. Test questions are usually answered with only a few words and they have only one correct answer, like Audrey's question about Jason's trip, where did you go? Test questions do not usually lead to good discussions. Where did you go on your trip? Washington, D.C. Authentic questions, on the other hand, can lead to good discussions like the second conversation. What was the best part of your trip? The best part of my trip was visiting the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. It was cool to see the spacesuit Neil Armstrong wore on the moon. The cosmic coaster ride was really fun too. Unfortunately, it made my mom sick. The answers to this type of question usually have more than one correct answer and are supported by details from the text, other sources, or your own thinking. Now let's think about the story Ryan and Jonah and see if we can come up with some authentic questions. What do you know about the characters in Ryan and Jonah? I think the brother is not responsible because he asked his little brother not to tell their mom how he fell into the water. I think the brother is still an honest person because he told his mother the truth at the end. Why do you think he decided to tell his mother the truth in the end? Well, maybe he didn't want to be like the boy who cried wolf and still wanted people to trust him. Probably. He thought that he did something wrong and wanted to take responsibility. Fantastic! In your conversation, there were two authentic questions. Audrey asked, what do you know about the characters in Ryan and Jonah? Chloe asked, why do you think he decided to tell his mother the truth? The question Chloe asked is not only an authentic question, but it is also an uptake question because it asked about what Audrey said previously. We will talk about uptake questions next time. Great job! What do you think of the story about Ryan and Jonah? The first student A says, I think the brother is not responsible because he asks his little brother not to tell his mom that he fell into the water. The underlined sentences are the supporting evidence for the bold face part. The other student B says, I think the brother is still an honest person because he tells his mother the truth at the end. In quality talk, we want to use authentic questions instead of test questions because this will improve the quality of your group discussion. Test questions require only factual information and a one-word response. Authentic questions will trigger responses which will generate more ideas in the group. This is the quality of discussion. Okay, let's do some practice on the two types of questions. Try to think of both authentic questions and test questions. Please read the text Ryan and Jonah.